someone feels like you're unbothered after being ghosted, let down. There is a disconnect when dealing with this energy who is completely disconnected from a truth, facts, and even quality time. This is someone who was very unreliable in a situation with you, ghosted you, disappointed you in a very big way. Now there is a disconnect and this energy is drained. This energy is drained and confused because you're no longer giving in to the love that was given. Someone's confused about returning because the love is not the same. This is someone who backstabbed you and tried to dodge the bullet by avoiding a conversation. Now this energy is salty because they're still attracted in some type of way. This energy still has an eye for you. But they feel like you have a tough ex exterior. Hmm. Someone feels like you have a tough exterior when it comes to a commitment. There's too many arguments. Even though there was a strong connection, this energy drained you. Cheated. Disloyal. Someone broke your heart by being unrealistic. This energy chose another path. A path that has brought a lot of baggage as well as a plan that is now backfired. I feel like something has backfired when it comes to someone who thought something wasn't going to change. Now they could be losing it. Going crazy. Missing you or the connection they had. Someone feels like um, they're too big to fail. They want to reach out and send some type of message connect in some type of way, but something is different. Something has changed. Something has changed when it comes to the chemistry, the love, the bond between the two of you. Because someone was lacking when it comes to the commitment. Let's get some more energy here. Holy Spirit, what is the message for here? Other messages here for the collective energies. There was a mutual love here, but I feel this energy only leave you with questions, no answers, only problems, confusion. But I feel you had to be unbothered because the things that they say are not adding up. This is someone you went above and beyond for. Over the top, you gave 1000% here. I feel you gave authentically from the heart and this energy couldn't even give you quality time and even respect. This energy was definitely full of themselves when they backstabbed you, thinking things would never change. Now the energies or the problems are starting to add, mount up Not realizing you're the key. Hmm. I feel like this is someone who is bored and frustrated and full of anxiety. This is someone who is starting to feel uncomfortable with the distance between the two of you. Yet there is always boundaries because the line that has been crossed. Hmm. This is someone who is definitely watering down the truth or lying often about anything and everything just to have their way. But there's always mixed signals when it comes to this energy because they're not being authentic. This is someone who is not coming from a very authentic space here. Hmm. I definitely feel like that's causing many of you to wonder if there's anything left here to savage or save because there's too much trauma and disappointment. 
I feel like there's too much drama and disappointment to allow them to hurt you again because they missed you the first time or didn't get what they wanted. Someone is wanting to repeat a cycle with you. But as I said before, something has changed. You being unbothered, even though there is pain, I still feel like you are moving forward because someone still hasn't changed. I feel someone is wanting to use emotions against you. Someone is wanting to use the emotions of the connection, the history, the love. Someone is wanting to use the love that was once given. This could be physically or emotionally, but whatever the case, this is someone who is not in your immediate energy right now. And I feel there's a lot of guilt because of it. Guilt, tears, because they feel like you are punishing them. Mm. Missing you because of the path that they chose. They know they broke your heart. And now they are wanting to make a gesture, an offer, feeling like time is up, time is running out. They could be overthinking it. Someone is completely overthinking something when it comes to fake news, lies, a story they're trying to sell. <coughs> but I feel this is someone who is just completely in disguise, still wearing a mask, still not being fair. However, there will be a sense of balance or justice when dealing with this energy who wants positive change, just doesn't know how to get it. Someone wants to reconcile, but they're not making a confession. They just want your support. They just want to be linked to you. But this rejection, this rejection is something they're not looking forward to. This is someone who knows they don't deserve your forgiveness because they've put no effort into change or trying to create some type of resolve. I feel this energy has only given you the silent treatment. Someone has turned their back on you so that you would react, but now they're wanting to communicate. This energy is wanting to communicate and there could be some incoming text message or phone call of someone trying to love bomb you. This is someone who is wanting more. <laughs> Feeling like they have a fighting chance when it comes to affairs of the heart. This energy wants to rebuild with you. Wanting you to be addicted to their energy. This is someone who is willing to do or say anything. But I feel this is someone who is still making no true effort no true effort when giving answers to the questions that you have because you're dealing with a poor communicator. A poor communicator who is only going to cause chaos through manipulation, lies, and deception. <sighs> Pretending they want to rebuild with you. And I do feel they miss you. But this energy doesn't have the tools that you have to make the changes that are needed. Because what they're doing it's taking them nowhere. It's a dead end when it comes to someone wanting you to be naive to their broken promises. But I feel you're content with vibing solo. For many of you, I feel you could be vibing solo because you know your worth. You know your value. And for many of you, I feel like you are waiting for changes in others. I feel you're moving on. Hmm. I feel like you could be moving on, knowing your worth and vibing solo because you know you are irreplaceable. You're irreplaceable to someone who is still playing games and very guarded. But I feel that will only lead them to their karma. Leaving, trying to break away, causing or a home to be in chaos or unstable. But I feel there's some talk about this energy being an idiot. Someone not seeing the truth. 
and even coping in the worst way. This is someone who is still rolling the dice and still causing drama. Wanting to make you feel like they have good intentions, but I feel this energy will only break your heart. This energy is still attached to some disloyal or cheating ways. Still not putting in the effort. This energy is still wanting to reach out, hoping you don't see they haven't changed. But as I said before, something has changed for you when it comes to affairs of the heart. I feel there is something you're no longer wanting to put up with, especially when it comes to this energy taking another path or wearing this mask. But I feel for many of you, you know their problems have not been solved. It's written all over their face. In fact, it's also in their actions. And you're not willing to take that risk. Let's get some more energy from the Holy Spirit. Where's the message here for the collective energies? I have parts here that best represent the message. This is someone who triggers your fears in some type of way. Teddy bear energy. This is someone you once saw as an innocent energy. Someone you helped. Someone you desire to build with or see in your future. But I feel when it comes to this energy, it's all theatrics. They're always putting on a show. Hmm. But now I feel like this energy is haunted. Haunted by the fact that you're no longer looking their way or seeing their truth. <laughs> you see past their lies. Hmm. I feel like you see past the lies and the backstabbing ways that this energy has taken you through. And something has become unspoken because of their fears and the fact that they've been putting on a show behind the scenes. But I feel there's some type of curtain call here. Someone knows that you are the yin to their yang irreplaceable energy no someone knows they should have put in the time yet this energy brought you pain and confusion pain and confusion that they're not haunted by because they know deep down they're missing you you went out of your way to help them you did things that no one else would have done you were there hmm. Now this energy could be stuck in the past because of what they have done or a missed opportunity because this energy is definitely triggered. However, I feel this is someone who is about to remind you why you should let go or stay at your distance. This is someone who is about to remind you to stay at your distance because of their questionable energy, things they're about to say or do. I feel like something they say or do reminds you of what needs to be done. This could be communication through text or a call, but whatever it is, I feel like it's going to be cryptic. Someone talking in circles, someone not even making any sense at all, hoping you just kind of cave behind them being clueless. But I feel like this energy is definitely missing their mark when it comes to you because you're no longer coming from your heart you're coming from facts hmm. true emotions hmm. someone is definitely seeing you in a different light as I said before this is someone who's going to be very cryptic with the intentions of misleading you or fooling you to let them in once again which is an offer of many of you will regret taking or entertaining while others already have had enough. Someone knows here that this energy hasn't changed. They're not innocent. In fact, this is someone who is still trying to trigger your, your fears. But I feel if this energy doesn't let go of these toxic ways of manipulation or wearing this mask, something will not just be unspoken. It will also be a missed opportunity. 
because you're starting to be comfortable in your own skin with or without them you're moving forward unapologetically walls are up walls are up after a separation I feel you could be trusting your your guides the universe and someone feels like you're ice cold when it comes to communication hmm. this energy feels like you're ice cold when it comes to communication because someone feels like you're not having it but I feel like this energy is about to be precise Precise when it comes to imprinting memories. Fake energy. This is really fake energy here of someone still trying to control something. Trying to control something they feel powerless to. But this energy has a sense of tunnel vision. Tunnel vision when it comes to gratification or desires. I feel this is just a house of cards that they're trying to build when trying to build a bridge. Someone is trying to cross a bridge they burned with you, a twin flame energy. They want to express some type of love. Someone wants to extend or ex receive love from you. This could be something you no longer recognize as a bond or something you want to attach yourself to because it makes you too vulnerable. This is definitely a slippery situation when it comes to commitment and promises. And someone wants you to be soft or <sighs> jellyfish energy. Someone doesn't want you to be defensive towards them. But I feel someone knows this is a trap and for those who don't know it is. This is coming out as a Venus flytrap energy of a runner. A runner who is more like a thorn in your side. But I feel when it comes to this runner energy, there is a lot of consequences and secrets for black sheep energy who doesn't want to conform. This is someone who likes being an individual, but something that they are doing is taboo and they know it. But I feel it will only bring judgment. This could be feminine or masculine energy here. Please take it how it resonates. But I also feel this could be someone who needs to peel away the layers. Peel away the layers of wanting attention or doing things the wrong way. Because this energy is definitely not aligned. Still doing things the wrong way. I feel like when it comes to their intentions, with this separation, their walls are still up. Things are a fortress. This energy is still pretending to be innocent when they know they're holding guilt for the problems they caused. Because without this energy doing the things that they have done, things would have ran more smoothly. <sighs> wow. This energy was being very reckless, thinking things would never change. But to their dismay, they have. I feel like this chaos has definitely brought you to a very uncomfortable space as well. They're uncomfortable, you're uncomfortable, yet I feel like this is going to improve your outlook on what you've been through, but also where you're going. As I sense your healing and rewards have only just begun. Of course, if you guys are enjoying the reading, please let me know by commenting down below or liking this video. So let's jump right into it. Holy Spirit, what are the cards here that best represent the reading? Someone is getting dreams and signs to make something right with you. They're trying to laugh it off. I 
feel like this energy is trying to laugh it off because they know they can't get something like they once did. Your walls could be up as well. Unbothered energy. You're seeking to transform. And others, you're seeking to forget about them. Someone doesn't want that to happen. So they're about to send you some love. Or is it? Dreaming of what they should do. Daydreaming. Restless energy. Stalking. The vibes are off. And their chakra needs to be healed. I feel like the heart chakra needs to be healed. Someone wants to heal something with you authentically, but this energy is completely lost. Someone needs to see a truth, but this energy is playing on your desires, playing on the love factor or the history of this connection. Hmm. Someone's trying to laugh off the fact that you have put them as a, at a distance, but as I said before, this is very uncomfortable for them. Uncomfortable because they feel like you're changing, but not in a good way. Someone is reflecting on the fact that they didn't spend the quality time and caused so many problems, and they're wondering if you're going to give in, if they could cause you to see something else within them to make you change, change your mind, reconsider. But this energy might find a harsh truth about what's been done to the connection. Not just the connection, but also you. The game on, it's at the bottom of the deck. And st someone is still hiding in the shadows, knowing they should be giving you your respect. Someone is still trying to play it cool. Still hiding in the shadows, wanting to or needing to release something because it's burning inside. But they're still not listening. They're still giving into the games that they play. I feel like this is someone who still has community ties. Community ties and dark intentions. This is someone who is still numbing out the world, still trying to live in a false space, trying not to give in to a light. But I feel this energy is too hell-bent on enticing you. Enticing you through this false persona. Karmic cycles. But I feel like what you gave was otherworldly. A rare find when it comes to your energy. But this energy is taking something down a very dark path because of their childish ways. This is empath narcissist ties where someone is trying to blind you with confusion. Someone could be thinking something over and others I feel like you could be shying away from love because of this. Shying away from love or shying away from close connections or a close connection with this energy because you're starting to understand you're gonna have to rise above this and focus on yourself. Focus on your own energy. Going solo or going in a different direction because this energy is still in a messy situation. Possibly even messy behaviors. Lost. Still not going in the right direction and having a guarded heart. Wow. Someone has a guarded heart but still wants you to give authentically. But I feel like this is someone whose nerves are kicking in. Wanting to communicate and they could be trying to come through because of it. Someone wants you to be addicted or attached in the worst way. Because they feel empty without you and they feel like you're leveling up. Someone could be watching from a distance knowing the chemistry between the two of you was all they had. For some of you this is relations through family and others this was a close bond someone you gave into authentically emotionally physically now they could be throwing shade just to blow off some steam knowing you are everything they know they should have held on to you no one else compares they're trying to block out 
what they feel, but it's not working out. They know they have to apologize. Someone knows they have to apologize for their lustful ways. But you're not hearing it. Someone's still stuck in the space of an illusion. Masculine energy here is keeping secrets, seeking forgiveness that they know they don't deserve. But this energy also knows you're not on the same page. And there's no escaping what they've done. It's a losing game. I feel like it's a losing game that they're all in their head about. This is why this energy is elusive, but they're coming back in. Hmm. This is a very slow process here. I feel like it's a very slow process because this energy, their chakra and their heart chakra is needing healing and the throat chakra is blocked off. This is why the truth is not coming out. And for many of you, you're over it. You're over the hot and cold energy and it's causing the vibe to change. In fact, I feel this is an intense energy change because this energy is not reading between the lines when it comes to hurting you. But they want more. They're just lacking the drive. For many of you, this energy is, has every intention on meeting up with you. Knowing you ride or die in every way. But this energy is about us to see a truth either about you or what they're going through. That they're not going to be able to numb out or create an, an, an illusion or fantasy for. As I said before, what they had with you was otherworldly. But they still are giving into these community ties, these community ties that are still leaving them in a space of being lost. This is why they disappoint you. I also feel like for many of you, this is someone who feels they know you better than you know yourself. When they're just using what they think they know to control or manipulate you. Or manipulate you. Sorry about that. This is someone who was trying to control or manipulate you mentally, emotionally, and even physically at times. Yet I sense they're hoping emotionally they can attach to you. Hmm. This is someone who is hoping they can emotionally attach themselves or physically attach themselves to you in a way that Hmm. Keeps you motivated. Someone feels like being emotionally or physically attached will help them get you to let your guard down. This is someone who wants you to block out all the wrong that they have done through the emotional attaching or the physical physical connection that they are trying to have with you. This is trauma bonding, hurting you, then connecting physically or emotionally with the intentions of making you feel safe, safe or strong in the connection. After taking risks, they eventually feel you'll get over when you just might end up getting over them instead. I feel like there is no numbing this out. Feel whatever season you're stepping into is a humble brag. After this energy breadcrumbed you, you're about to be able to pay your own way. No cap. I feel your goals are different after walking away. For many of you, this was a very dark time for you, for someone who was avoiding a real effort. In fact, I feel this is someone who just breadcrumbed the connection. Hmm. trying to keep their options open. There was a lot of mind games, non-committal energy, and for many of you, you already have your receipts. 
you don't need this energy to confess. In fact, you feel they wouldn't even tell you the truth. I feel this is someone who was turned up on you for no real reason. And this is why there is no conversation. They don't even know why they truly hurt you. They just have very selfish ways. Someone had plans. Hmm. That they planned to keep. And they thought you were in the way. Someone went to the extreme. Now they're wanting your approval. Wow. This is definitely someone on the outside looking in. They're looking obsessed or something like a fan. Unhealthy energy. They have also, I feel like they have uh, unhealthy character traits. Hmm. This is why this energy is non-committal and breadcrumbing the connection. This is why they feel they can get and never give to you. I sense an offer of love from this energy has manipulation and agenda written all over it. Where they only want to keep you hooked or obsessing over them. Wanting you to be theirs no one else's or truly attached to their trauma their pain and what they're going through <laughs> influence energy here someone threw away a connection with you something so harshly that it left you shaking your head. Hmm. Shaming, feeling judged. This is someone who is doing a lot, doing a lot casually, thinking there is no consequences. But I feel that's all cap too, because there's a new perspective here. The vibe has changed and I feel your energy is savage. Your energy is savage when it comes to protecting your own energy because you're not looking back. And for others, I feel like you're trying to hold on. You're trying to not give up on this energy, but I feel they've already given up on themselves. As I said before, the vibe has changed. The vibe has changed. This energy is still trolling you because they're in their feelings. <sighs> and they're also shocked because you played this very well. Hmm. Clever move. I feel whatever you did to make something clear is definitely felt. And whatever it is, this energy feels like it's savage. It was a savage mood. It was a savage move. Wow. For some of you, not everyone, I feel like you burned something down. You made something final. Someone's in their feelings because it was a clever move. Someone didn't expect it because they're shocked about it. Someone's shocked and you're not sorry about it. But I feel whatever you did wasn't wrong at all because this energy just didn't care. I feel like you're starting to get in that energy as well. And this energy is in a mood because you bounce. This energy is in a mood because they feel canceled. In fact, for many of you, they kind of don't really know what to think. But I feel you had enough. No longer wanting to deal with this situation. I feel whatever you've done was completely on target. I feel for many of you, there could be a spiritual change or an alignment within your career or your heart. And this is the biggest clap back ever I feel it's the biggest clap back ever a humble brag is putting someone in a mood because you're woke you're woke now hmm. and the biggest clap, clap back is you're blessed but even though you're blessed you're even stressed because this energy is still in your energy some way they're still holding on they're still trying to attach themselves and the struggle is real Knowing you're blessed, still not clapping back, you're finding your peace by moving on. Hmm. May 
making a different decision after someone is just trying to gas you up. You're keeping it real. You're keeping it real with yourself, knowing something is already flatlined. And I feel whenever this is hit rock bottom, someone's trying to gas you up because they're thirsty for your attention. Someone's thirsty for your attention because they know the level of help or commitment that you bring. And as I said before, nothing that you have done can be replaced. But I feel something needs to be spoken loudly. Something needs to be spoken loudly when it comes to you. Because their energy is definitely suspect. And being suspect only causes you to walk away. Knowing something will never change. It will flatline. It will die. And for some of you, the connection grows weak or conversation. The conversation with this energy just dies. Something just cannot be resurrected. Because someone has lost interest. Someone has a fear of missing out when it comes to you. But I feel they just, they're being very ratchet about something. This is what causes you to lose interest. Because you're being adult about it. And this energy is still trying to finesse their way. Hmm. This is someone who is still trying to finesse, persuade, butter you up. When they need to be figuring something out. Hmm. Wow. This is someone who is a complete follower. Someone who is tr still trying to filter the facts. But I feel for many of you, you're better off. Hmm. You're better off until this energy truly gets it. As I said before, this is someone who's still giving into manipulation and agenda where they know they did the most. But I also feel, as I said before, they want to keep you hooked or obsessing over them, wanting you to believe there is no one else better than them. Hmm. Or you need them more than they actually need you. But I feel that is just the opposite. I feel this is someone who tore you down at times. Tore you down intentionally. So you would believe no one would want or love you more than them. So you can continue to be there no matter what. As supply, financial support, or just a scapegoat when they want to blame their issues on someone else. But... Never a true friend or an equal, because they're lost. Too lost to understand the true depth of what they are losing with you. But this is why they are always returning again and again to repeat the process. However, this, this time, they may be shocked. This energy may be shocked by something you do or choose not to do as this version of you wasn't built overnight because I see you overcoming some obstacles hmm. I see your obstacles and disappointments have brought you to a place where things are starting to slowly click or just make some sense even though there is no closure and this person has answered no valuable questions. But I feel once you reach a level of clarity, independence, and inner peace, it's over. It's over for them because I don't ever see you looking back. Not in the way that you used to. Not the help, not the love, not the energy. Not without true closure, revelation. Acknowledgement. In fact, their actions and betrayals have caused you to check the price tag. I feel like you had to check your price tag because the respect and love you gave to this energy was just not received. Only because this fool tried to mark down your energy. 
this energy trying to mark down the value of your help, your love, your energy, hoping to distract you and even others of your true worth by attempting to leave you on the clearance rack, hoping you stay undervalued or nobody finds you, nobody understands the help you truly gave or how authentic you truly are, yet you're about to be where you should have been all along, you know, behind the glass where all the valuables are, so you're untouchable to the looky-loos and those who plan to take what they can't maintain or deserve. Because after what you've been through, I highly doubt they even deserve you. I hope you guys have enjoyed the reading and...